Hey everyone, welcome back. In this example, you are given an integer array height of length n. There are n vertical lines drawn such that two endpoints of the i line are i0 and i height i here. And we need to find two lines that together with the x axis form a container such that the container contains the most water. We need to find the maximum amount of water a container can store. And here's the input and this is the output. Well, task is a bit tricky. To solve it, you should be a bit creative and visualize what's going on. So in this problem, you are given an array of integer values representing the height of vertical lines on a 2D plane. Your task is to determine the pair of lines that along with the x-axis can form a container that can hold the maximum amount of water. So as you can see, we have this input right here that includes height and the maximum amount we're getting is 49. How we are getting it? So imagine each number in the array as a vertical line on a graph with a position in the array, which is one base index. It represents the x-coordinate and the value at the position representing the height of that line. For instance, the second number in the array is 8, representing at line at x2, x equals 2, a height of 8. Our goal is to find two lines that together with the x-axis will form a container that can hold the maximum amount of water. The amount of water this container can hold is determined by two factors, distance between the two lines, which is the width of the container, and the height of the shorter line since water will spill over the shorter side. So for the given example height here, this array, let's see how the maximum area of 49 is achieved. So basically, you need to start with the widest possible container, which is between the first and the last line. I mean like one and seven. Here, the lines are at positions at one and nine, because our array is based on one based index with heights of one and seven right here so area is will be like this there goes the minimum and here it's gonna be one and seven all right that is multiplied by nine minus one these are the values we have and these are the values that represents the indices and the outcome will be i'm gonna put right here one multiplied by 8 which is 8 since the left line is shorter we move one step to the right now the container is between lines at positions 2 and 9 with a height of 8 and 7 so we should have a pointer in our array that represents the left side and right side of the array the numbers so that we can go into the center by comparing the left side and right side by, and calculating the maximum area. Now in the next step, as you can see, we have eight and seven. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, now we have moved one step to the right. This is gonna be minimum eight and seven multiplied by nine minus two. That equals two. We get the minimum. We're gonna put seven right here, multiplied by seven. And seven by seven is 49. Now we have the maximum area we can get in this case. So if we continue moving the pointers inward, we'll find that no other pair of lines forms a larger area than 49. I'm pretty sure at this point you got the idea. Now let's write the code. Here, this is our function, my max area. It takes height, which is area of integers, and returns an integer that's gonna be the maximum area. And we have left pointer, right pointer, and also max area. I'm gonna place this right here. And we have this current area also. So the first thing we have to initialize, left takes zero, which is the left side. Right takes the high value of the height array. That's gonna be last index of the array all right and the uh, max area will be zero there we go and now we need to iterate through the array so while left less than right and right here we're going to calculate the current area current area assigns 
minimum and inside it we're gonna use the same algorithm we have used in the whiteboard height left and height right and it's multiplied by right minus left there we go and we're gonna check if current area greater than max area then max area gets the current area calculation and we need to move the pointer pointing to the shorter line how are we gonna do that we're gonna use if else statement if height left is less than height right then we need to increment left by one else decrement right pointer by one and at the end we're gonna just return the max area all right that's about it we can save the code and as you can see in the main function we're using my max area with the example input so i'm gonna compile the code we got the 49 so basically what we're doing is we are starting with the widest possible container one pointer at the start which is the left and the other at the end that's gonna be right side and uh, we're gonna loop through it while left is less than right we need to calculate the area and update max area if the current area is larger than the uh, initially set by right here and we're gonna move pointers by incrementing and decrementing the left and right pointers and after the loop the max area will hold the largest possible area this algorithm efficiently defines the maximum area with a time complexity of on where n is the number of lines it's a good example of greedy algorithm where at each step uh, we make a choice that seems the best at the moment moving the shorter line inward to find the global optimum all right thank you for watching